Hey guys, um, so this is just gonna be a quick sh um, kind of show, uh, show and tell just with this script. We're not gonna go in depth on how I actually built it. Just kind of want to show you the capabilities, uh, things that you can do with Dynamo. So um, pretty much what we were trying to do was take uh, a list of CAD files because we had um, 50 or 60 Revit models that we needed to bring in CAD files, which we have a separate separate Dynamo script that'll that'll automatically link the correct files in at the correct levels and then this script would run um, and automatically apply room separation lines and then create the rooms um, because in this project they essentially only needed the rooms and so they could pull area information room information stuff like that um, but uh, that's pretty much it for the most part and just more or less just work with schedules and stuff um, so the script will take the CAD files that they get from the client, it'll bring them in, and this uses four different packages, the whole script does, so if I open it up, show dependencies, you can kind of see, um, what's going on. So over here, BIM, BIM, BIM Morph nodes, Clockwork, uh, Archilab, and then Lunchbox. Those are the four packages I used. Um, I did try to limit how many times I used the package. Um, for some of the nodes, uh, it was just easier to use a node from there. But where um, I knew I could do it in Dynamo, I did it in Dynamo. So um, I did simplify this script a little bit and um, change a bunch of stuff just so that we could use it on this example because this was built for a specific process um, so that a user could come over here and simply um, uh, put in a value. So they could put um, um, either, uh, you know, zero, one, two, or, you know, all the way up to five. Uh, they would just have to kind of type out that list here. You know, say there was three levels, they could just uh, type that out. And all the inputs that would need that value would already be filled in. Um, because um, this would tie into uh, this input. It would also tie into this Python script down here. Um, and then just give out the, 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 the right, um, it would create the uh, separation lines on the right level and then place the rooms where they're supposed to and pull in the correct parameter information. Um, the code block over here and the code block right here um, since I had to kind of modify it for this example I um, you know unplugged the inputs and put two code blocks here and then plug those in um, but as you see this 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 script is a mess um, so there's definitely some cleanup that could be applied but um, um, you know again this is just to show you capabilities um, down here there's a Python script that just looks at the input and the the list. So the X um, the input um, input zero list, which is um, X, and down here it just says if zero is in X, you know output L one and then so on through the rest of the list. Um, uh, far as far as uh, we know, there was only. Um, three levels. I think in some instances there might have been four levels um, for these buildings, but um, pretty much this Python script took care of it. Um, I think we may have added a fourth level um, in the actual script that we used to run um, on the project. But um, and and with this one, it pretty much says that if you have you know zero one two over here in this code block then it'll output three levels. Um, for this example, zero, it's just gonna output one level. Um, so everything we're gonna do is just on one level. And then all this over here just gets the uh, CAD. So it gets the CAD file, it gets the layer. So it gets the wall layer, the door layer, window, and turns into curves that we can then place on a sketch plane. And then um, create the room separation lines. Down here, we're creating the um, uh, rooms uh, from the text. So the text, so the room tags that are in the CAD file, we get the center point of those, which will give us the place 
you know, the location, the place, our rooms. And then we get um, the um, room name and number from there. And then that's what we'll use to set the parameter um, parameters for the room name and number in the um, Revit model. And then finally over here, we'll simply uh, run the script and it creates the room separation lines. This is from Clockwork. Uh, most of the CAD, CAD stuff is from uh, Bimmore. Um, and, and then there's some other ones in there that are from the Archilab and Lunchbox package. So, um, if we just go ahead and run our, well, first let's take a quick look at, uh, the diet or the Revit model. So in here we have, um, the project, this is the CAD file right here. Um, and then there's some text in there so you can see what's going on here. I've already ran it once so you can see that it's got the points. Um, but you can see the room names and, and numbers and everything there. So what we'll do is um, jump back into Dynamo. And then we'll click Run. And then up here to the right uh, corner, you can see the lines, so it went in there and created them. And then you can slightly see the point. I'm having some trouble panning it around that, but um, those are the room separation lines and then uh, the points that we need to place the rooms. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I may reduce this script down so it simply uh, looks at um, um, doing exactly, you know, what we did in this example so that um, you can grab it um, out of the OneDrive link uh, below. So I'll, I'll do a quick, you know, clean up to it, reduce, you know, remove all the process specific stuff so that you can just take it and then tweak it and then go from there with it. But um, hopefully you got some ideas um, of things that you could potentially do. Do let me know if you have any questions, you need any help on anything. Um, um, and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.